Hi, uh, Dave here with Cracking Code with Dave, and uh, this video is going to be about uh, what if you don't get any uh, output right here on the side panel, right? Uh, so this section over here, it's supposed to compile your code. You know, you put a number in there, and look, nothing's showing up over here. Well, why not? All right, uh, a couple things. First of all, if you see a spinning wheel here, and it's thinking about it, and it's thinking about it, and you've gone and got your coffee, and it's still thinking about it, then maybe it's time to quit Xcode. So come over to the top, quit Xcode, start again. Um, if, uh, but if it's not spinning like this, it says it's ready to continue. And I've typed in a number here and it's supposed to be showing up over here, but it's not. Um, there's this blue play button now. So click that blue play button and it runs this and thinking, thinking, thinking and done. Okay, great. So that's how you do it. Uh, that portion of it. Now, um, let's say you make a change, well, all of a sudden it asks you, oh, geez, it wants you to compile again, right? Now, it used to be that Playground would just automatically execute on my computer, and I'm sure there's a setting somewhere, and I found the setting. And it's really kind of weird and quirky and hidden. Um, it's down here, this little stop, the square button is like a stop button. And if you, normally you just click that, and it'll stop and start your Playground, right? That's something you can do, um, but that's not it's not then but even if you do that then you change the number here and it wants you to auto execute it it wants you to click the blue button here again uh, I wanted to just automatically keep on refreshing when I'm editing and so to do that you click and hold this down here that's the trick and then select automatically run now it'll just com continually execute your code kind of like a looping function here it just goes top to bottom top to bottom top to bottom executing the code and there you go now you can edit your your numbers, you can do some math or whatever, one plus one, you know, um, and you can write your functions and do all your all your coding and stuff, and it'll just automatically execute. Now, it does seem to be a little bit slower if it's automatically executing like that, but you don't have to click that blue play button, so that's kind of fancy. And if you want to change it back, excuse me, if you want to change it back, you click and hold this and choose manually run. There you go. So if uh, you've tried all this, Again, restart Xcode, reboot your computer even, um, and it should work. There are some other fancier hacks to go into the compiler and, I don't know, change this and that, but um, this should work for you, hopefully. All right, well, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, Dave with Cracking Code, signing off. I'll see you again next time.